good morning children last class we have already discussed about introductions of number system in this class i will explain about exercise 2.1 first and second main question i will explain the first question is is zero a rational numbers question mark can you write it in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q does not equal to zero here observe carefully children here what is the statement saying is zero is a rational number first of all what do you mean by rational numbers the numbers can be written in the form of p by q both numerators and denominator where p and q are integers like positive numbers or negative numbers and q does not equal to zero q value zero agirbaru that type of number is called as a rational numbers you already know that based on that concept we are using that is zero a rational number yes or no if the answer is yes zero is a rational numbers here if in case this number s is how to write using the number you write in the form of p by q here one example i will consider 0 by 1 0 by 1 here 0 is a p value and 1 is q value here observe carefully children q value does not equal to 0 but p value you consider you take a 0 no problems next another one examples i will consider 0 minus 5 what is the value is equals to 0 here also p value is 0 and q is equals to minus 5 therefore these two numbers look like in the form of you see p by q therefore these two are examples of rational numbers next moving on to second question state whether the following statements are true or false give reasons for your answers here some statement is given that the statement is true or false give suitable reason the first question is every natural number is a whole number first what do you mean by natural number natural numbers except zero in remaining all positive number like 1 2 1 2 3 4 4 so on up to infinity that type of number is called as a natural number and another one what do you mean by whole numbers means including zero all all positive numbers is called as a whole number based on that the concept here you answer this question every natural number is a whole number the statement is true why what is the reason since the collections of whole numbers contains all the natural numbers next moving on to second statement every integer is a whole number here observe carefully children what is the question every integer is a whole number the statement is false why because in your integers the numbers which containing positive and negative and zero also the type of numbers is called as a integers but in your whole numbers the whole numbers containing only positive numbers for example here you see false integers contains whole numbers and negative numbers but whole numbers containing only positive number for example minus 3 is a integers why because this is negative number is there this numbers containing only integers but not a whole numbers why because in whole numbers containing only positive numbers only here minus 3 is there therefore this is not a whole numbers next moving on to last statement every rational number is a whole number what do you mean by first whole whole numbers and rational numbers whole numbers which containing all positive numbers including zero that type of number is called as a whole number what do you mean by rational number is the numbers which can be expressed in the form of like p by q where p and q are integers q does not equal to zero this type of number is called as a rational numbers now you see every rational number is a whole number the statement is false because rational numbers can be written in the form of p by q where p and q are integers q does not equal to 0 but your whole numbers 
whole numbers cannot be written in the form of like p by q. The examples 1 by 2 minus 25 by 6, 3 by minus 19. These three are the examples of rational numbers but not a whole numbers. Regarding these concepts, any doubt have, let me know you ask, I will clarify it. Thank you children.